These are the first and farewell images of Earth from ESA's newly launched HERA spacecraft. After blasting off on October 7th, 2024, the asteroid deck of HERA that houses its scientific instruments was switched on for commissioning on October 10th and 11th and pointed back at the Earth and Moon from more than a million kilometers away. This mission will visit the asteroids Didymus and Dimorphos, the latter of which was deliberately crashed into in September 2022 by the DART spacecraft. This was a planetary defense test to redirect an asteroid, just to make sure that we could if we ever needed to divert an Earth-bound asteroid. Just to say there is basically no risk of that anytime soon, as far as we know. So don't panic just yet. Hera is now going back to that pair of asteroids to check on how they've changed since the impact and to get high resolution imaging from the asteroids because the footage we have of the impact and the asteroids so far is not the best quality. This view of the rotating Earth is from Hera's asteroid framing camera. Remember, this is from over a million kilometers away, and the spacecraft will get a lot closer than that to Dimorphos, so the quality will look better when we get to the asteroids. In this still frame from the same camera, the Earth is in the bottom left with the Pacific Ocean lit up by the sun, and the moon is also visible in the center. Two other Earth images were also taken by Hera, using different instruments on board, which were all designed to do different science. This one showing Earth in the center and the moon in the top right was taken by its thermal infrared imager. And this one was taken by an instrument called Hyperscout H at a distance of 1.6 million kilometers. Eventually, this instrument will determine the exact mineral makeup of the asteroid. Let me know which one of these excites you the most. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.